Nice example here by Jimmy Garoppolo of using the information given him by the defense. Post safety, press at the bottom of the screen. Has to check it post snap to make sure his eyes weren't lying to him. Here we go, post snap. Safety stays in the middle field. That means he's got isolation at the bottom of the screen. And oh no, the defensive back zone turns. Puts his eyes in the backfield. Blown coverage, nothing over the top. Big touchdown here to Chris Hogan. Blown coverage by the Cardinals. Nice example here of scripted improvisation. Amadola has a dig route at Sticks' depth, but the pocket breaks down. Garoppolo has to reset the pocket, and now Amadola's into scramble rules. Recognize coverage. You've got cover three thirds player, one in the middle of the field, one on the outside deep third. Split the difference, run to the vacancy. Big play. Critical third and 11 in the fourth quarter. All the parts got to work together. Double team gets movement. Marcus Cannon climbs off that double team, gets another man. The pulling guard gets his guy in space, and the wide receiver gets his stock block. Little mini wall there to make this unlikely third and 11 conversion on the ground a reality. And finally, a great example of the Patriots special team stepping up in a big moment where field position was badly needed. Steven Guskowski here with a big kick. Nice hang time outside the numbers, forcing it to be taken out. Now on the back side of the coverage, you've got a little bit of a twist game. Your penetrator goes, Nate Ebner goes off his butt, freeing him to the back end where he'll be more athletic than the big man blocker. Don't give me this Ole bullshit. On the front side of the cover, young cornerback Jonathan Jones, whose responsibility is really simple. Run! And get low when the blocker comes. He does a great job of dipping a rip here, playing through it, forcing a flag, and getting in on the tackle, saving the Patriots even more fill position that would have been critical at the end of that game.